Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So, one of the big challenges of this hobby is trying to find a way to record high definition footage on small drones like this. Or like this. Or even something like this. I know it's not a small drone, but it's not designed to carry a larger high definition camera. So we've been forced to work with solutions like the Cadex Turtle or the Cadex Tarsier, or the Runcam Split series of cameras. And while those do work, I have yet to find one that actually provides really good looking high definition video. And by high definition video, I'm talking about 1080p being the minimum. And I really haven't found anything that has struck that balance yet. There's lots of very small form factor cameras that claim 1080p video, but when it gets down to it, they're hard to use and the video quality just plain sucks. So how do you go about getting high definition video out of this when kind of the gold standard is something like that or like that? Clearly, these two are not going to be able to carry either one of these cameras very well or if at all. Because this camera and this camera are almost, actually they weigh more than either one of these. That's when something really interesting kind of uh, caught my eye, and that is this guy. This is the Insta360 Go. It claims to be a 1080p optically stabilized micro camera. And I have my hands on one. And I am super excited to get into this and take a look at it and see if it lives up to the promise of bringing us high definition video in a very flexible, easy to use form factor for things like micros and how it stacks up to say video from something like this. So let's go ahead, clear the bench and get into this guy. Sorry about the glare on the, uh, the cellophane. We can take care of that issue right now. All right, there we go. So folks, just a heads up, there's a Mother's Day promo going on right now where you'll get the Insta360 Go kit and the case. If you use my affiliate link, look in the description down there for, I believe, $179. So check that out. Let's go ahead and get this guy open. I am so excited for this thing. Kind of got lost in customs. It's finally here. So here's what we got. In the front cover, there's a little bit of instructions. Nothing super, super specific. It's more or less just how to power it on and off. Here is the camera unit itself. It's a very uh, iPhone-esque packaging setup here. Here is our camera. Oh my goodness, this thing is tiny. Like from the pictures, I figured it was small. But that is something else. Looks like some sort of uh, like hat clip, some sort of tripod mount. I believe that's probably a quarter 20 thread right there. We have a USB-C to micro USB cable. This thing's about know, four inches long maybe. Like a sticky mount, yep. Definitely a sticky mount for something. This looks like some sort of lanyard mount, kind of like for hanging from your neck if you wanted to get like that uh, that chest cam look. Let's see, we have a USB-A to micro USB cable. This is, uh, I'd say about three feet long. We've got lunch. And a sticky mount quarter 20 base. Um, it is a plastic thread there, so I'm gonna be a little, a little ginger careful with that one. Um, Threads aren't cut very well on it. Yeah, that's kind of cringeworthy. Okay, so the threads suck on this. Um, I don't. Hmm. We'll have to revisit that. That ain't, that ain't gonna work. Work good at all. Um, revisit that. Let's see, here's a quarter twenty bolt. Maybe it's this thing that's messed up. Nope, it's certainly that. That plastic base plate there. <clears throat> so, uh, let's see what else we got in here. We have instructions, quick start guide that's about a million pages long in like 40 different languages. So, that's 
what came in the box and uh, the, the bundle I ordered also came with a free carrying case to store all your goodies. Uh, it's a nice little case. It's kind of like a like a denim finish on it. Nice little mesh pocket on the top and then a slot for all your accessories, but I'm not really too concerned about that. Okay, also in the box, there is a card about the Instago's uh, water resistance ability. So it's IPX4 rated, and it says it can be submerged for up to 10 seconds. So while this isn't waterproof, it is somewhat water resistant, probably being in the rain uh, on your body or something, it'll probably be okay, but I definitely would not push it. I did buy the extended warranty on it, and the charge case is not water resistant, so take that for what it's worth. Make sure you know what you're getting into when you start paying for extra warranties. So I'm going to go get this thing charged up, and I will be right back. Okay, so while we're waiting for this little guy to charge up here, let's go ahead and download the app to my phone. So we're going to look for our Insta360. Go. There we go. And let's give that install. And there we go. Installed. Let's get in here. Yep. I'm going to let you make phone calls and everything. And we got to create an account. So we're going to go ahead and try to connect this guy. Press and hold the button on the back. This guy right there. I should feel two vibrations, which I just did. And we can go ahead and check Bluetooth. There we go. So now we should be connected. There we go. There's my camera. And now we should be able to adjust settings as needed. So I've got my uh, Galaxy Note 8. It uses USB-C. I've got it connected to the dock and the camera in the dock. Plug it in. And always open. Yeah, why not? All right. And we're going to get a bunch of tutorials. I don't really care. Now let's go ahead and download this. See what we get. Ooh, the audio is really good. Like, surprisingly good. Well, it looks like the app has a little bit of issues with switching between portrait and landscape mode. Probably could have cleaned the and, lens uh, off. It's warm, but it's not hot. Like to say this is gonna Let's go ahead and scroll through this a little bit. Here we go. So, there it is. Oh, let me try to hold that. Side. That's pretty darn good. Look at that. That's cool. All right, this thing is, I'm already very impressed with it. I'll put the raw files from today on, uh, a, on a Google Drive. Go ahead and find them down there in the link if you want to see what they look like raw before. YouTube does what it does to everything. So as you see for uh, Android, it does use an on-the-go cable style connection. Uh, this is definitely kind of designed more for the iPhone crowd. You pull this little rubber bumper off the bottom there and you have your iPhone lightning port plugger doer thing there but I don't swing that way so here we go all right now to do what it is that we want this thing to do I'm going to strap this thing to a quad and I'm going to send it okay for this test I just took the Insta360 Go and put it on the swivel mount 
with that little sticky base it has, and I just stuck that right to the top plate of my Pyro Cube. No adhesive, no straps, no nothing. The base of it's kind of like a an Uma Grip type material, and it sticks really well, as you can see. So, <clears throat> so this is a lap with the image stabilization turned off, and I'll be honest, it looks really good. I mean, very, very good, especially for being like a 20 gram camera. Really nice. Uh, colors are really good. The image is really good. The fisheye is just right where it doesn't look crazy. So I'll go ahead and turn the volume up for you. So the audio isn't bad either. I mean, for what it is compared to a lot of these smaller cams. Now here's what it looks like with the image image stabilization turned on. Look how locked in the horizon is. It's kind of neat seeing the arms of the quad going from left to right, kind of rolling around center. But this camera does a really, really good job of keeping the horizon just locked right in. Uh, on a racing quad, it does kind of look a little weird. If you were to do rolls, you'd see the arms go in a 360 degree circle around the screen. It's just kind of weird. But if you were to put this on something you're trying to get uh, a little bit cinematic footage from, this would be really nice. I'm really happy with this thing. The image quality is so much better than I thought it was going to be. Um, and with the, the 20 grams, it's hardly even noticeable. And you can mount it in just about any direction as long as the lens is facing the direction you want it to go. It doesn't have to be standing up. It can be on its side. It can all be adjusted in the, uh, the software for the Insta360 Go. And it just kind of tipped down right there when I hit the ground. All right, so what are my thoughts on this thing? Well, it was pretty obvious from the video. This thing is awesome. I am so unbelievably happy with this thing. It does better than I thought it was possibly going to do. Um, all the extras you come that comes with the kit, that's just, that's just all bonus. Uh, it's very, very user-friendly after you kind of figure out the, the holds and the triple and the double presses. It seems to work really well. Uh, the magnetic charging slash syncing case, this is a really great idea. Uh, I do wish you could just plug this directly into your computer. Uh, I do wish this had like an external SD card on it. But uh, for what it is, the weight it is, how much it costs, I think they did a pretty good job with the uh, charging syncing base. Uh, this stupid thing, I don't like the fact they use plastic threads. All I had to do is just grab a quarter 20 nut and just kind of run it over there to reshape them, and it seems to be just fine. But um, this isn't gonna this isn't gonna hold up to a lot. So probably once this breaks, I'll probably just countersink it and put an actual quarter twenty bolt in there. But again, not a real big deal. But this is a lot of kit for what it essentially is: trying to mount a camera to a micro. And I, I know in the video I mounted it to a five inch quad, which is pretty easy to do with just about any action camera. But I had also mounted it to this, my Tiny Hawk 2 Race, and the video for this, this will be coming out soon. My Patreons have already seen it. If you want to check that out, head over to Patreon, sign up. I have tiers as low as 2 bucks. You can get a quick glimpse of that, and let me tell you, it is awesome. All right, folks, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking this out. If you want to get your Insta360 Go with the carrying case, check out the link I have down in the video description. That uh, specifically is for me, for my channel. And right now there is a promo going on. Uh, so check that out. The price, I've noticed, has fluctuated quite a bit in the last month. It kind of goes up and down and back and forth. So try to buy low. The replacement plan is pretty reasonable. And I highly recommend picking one of these guys up. All right, folks, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking this out. And I will see you all next time. Bye.